Hey, what's going on, guys? Just a quick update um, about this weekend. This is um, by far our biggest weekend that we do all year in Kid Zone. Um, this is our Super Bowl, uh, if uh, if you compare it to some football terms. So we're looking to have um, just at the, the Hampton campus 2,500 people and 300 first-time guests. So with those dynamics, uh, we really want to do everything possible to put our best foot forward to make a good first impression. Um, because when we do events like this, um, a lot of people are coming in and checking us out and they're skeptical. So what we want to do is we want to disarm them and just show them that we genuinely care about kids, that we have a really good, fun, safe program that kids are going to like and parents are going to feel comfortable bringing their kids to. Um, so we, we really do that by um, dotting all of our I's and crossing all of our T's. Now this weekend, um, a lot of things are going to be different. We're going to do a full gospel presentation um, and do a lot of the things that we normally do, but we're going to have the programming um, really souped up a little bit. It's, it's going to be a little bit more uh, on stage programming. Our service is actually going to be shorter than normal. It's going to be 55 minutes. Uh, so we really want to uh, make everything move very, very quickly. We're doing a lot of games. Um, and me, uh, Sarah, and Sean are going to be the primary presenters on stage for everything. And then we've got a couple people that are leading worship that we've already scheduled. Um, so everybody, everything that happens on stage is going to be uh, already scheduled by, um, by me and Sarah. We already know who's leading worship. We already know who's going to do games and, and things like that. So there's nothing that you need to do with, with that piece. Um, what it's important for you to do is make sure that uh, we have everybody else that's not dressed up in costume that we've scheduled to be there throughout the entire weekend, uh, that they are appropriately spread out and that they can do uh, some level of crowd control and, and that, that the kids are um, pretty close to one of our key leaders. So uh, once you get there, get your teenagers and get them all spread out. They shouldn't have to get up and get down, go on stage and, and move around. Uh, we really just need to have everybody spread out because we're looking to have uh, up to um, 200, 250 people in the gym for our, our weekend services. Some services are smaller, some services are bigger, um, but typically we can get up to 200 people um, and our largest service might even be closer to 250. So in order to, to really... Um, run things effectively, we have to make sure that we have a lot of our leaders spread out and able to just see what's going on with the kids. Uh, keep in mind, with that many people, most of the kids that are here are not used to what we normally do. They don't know the routine. They don't know what to do. They don't know how things work. Um, and, and some kids are uncomfortable. They're not going to know what to do. So having our leaders that are there to help calm them down, um, just redirect them, show them what needs to happen is really, really helpful. Um, the things as simple as a, a little boy that misses his mom, uh, having someone there to address that is really important because if, if he's in a room with 200 people, he's going to be overwhelmed by, by that. And someone that's there, um, that's one of our key workers that can help him feel better is a really important thing. So those are the big things that, that, um, I need from you. Uh, we have a really beefed up, um, check-in experience. We're going to have probably 10 people at each service, uh, getting all the guest information, escorting them in, um, getting ever all the kids checked in. Um, so that's happening uh, at a really high level, and uh, we, we've really beefed that process up. And we're also inviting parents to come in and join the kids. So we're going to set up a specific section for parents off to the side where they can sit and watch the whole experience. Now, one thing to be aware of is kids are able to sit with their parents in the parent seating section. Parents are not able to sit with kids in the kids seating section. Um, so if we have any parents that are sitting in the two kids sections, the boys sections or the girls sections, uh, we need to politely ask them to sit in the designated parents area. If they want to sit with their kids, their kids are welcome to sit with them in the designated parents area. Uh, the only other thing that's going to be a little bit different is rather than using that single door that leads to the kids own foyer for dis dismissal, we actually use the single door on the other end of the gym by the, the video games to dismiss everyone through. That's all for traffic flow and with the number of people that we have, we have to be very, very efficient with that. Uh, so just be aware of that. Be aware of the security issues of parents being in there. Be aware of all the kids that are here for the first time that might be uncomfortable um, because the security piece and also just making sure kids feel comfortable are two of the big things that we want to uh, be able to provide. That's really what parents are looking for 
um, to know their kids are safe and that their kids are going to have a good time. Uh, and that's one of the key factors of, of how they determine whether or not they want to come back. Uh, so we want to give them a really good experience for the egg hunt. It's e an easy way to get people in the door, but we don't want to just get them in the door. We want them to be able to stick and stay involved and continue to to hear the gospel, hear the, uh, the, the messages that we have, and be plugged into Kids Zone. We want entire families to be changed as a result of this one event. Uh, appreciate you guys. Uh, love you. If you need anything, please just let me know. You know where to find me. All right. See you soon.